let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, bang, bang. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, may nakikita kayong calculator dyan. Kasi ang gagawin natin ngayon is ituturo ko kung paano gamitin ang basic calculator sa pagkuha ng PV factor or present value factor. So, sa video na ito, tatlo yung gagawin natin. First is yung PV factor of 1 or present value of 1. Pangalawa, present value of ordinary annuity. At yung isa is yung present value of annuity 2. Sa video na ito, ang gagamitin natin ay rate of 5% and maturity of 3 years. So, ang uunahin natin ngayon is yung PV of 1 or present value of 1. So, ito yung formula ng present value of 1. So, using this formula, gagamitin natin yung formula na yan, i-input sa calculator. Pero dahil ang calculator natin ay basic calculator at hindi nakagaya ng scientific calculator na input-input lang ng formula, tapos pindot ng equals, mabilisan ang sagot. Pero dahil basic calculator ang gagamitin natin. Medyo, may konting ano lang. Pero hindi naman ganun kahirap. Kasi, using these steps, mas mapapadali yung pagkuha natin ng present value. So, sige. Start natin. So, yung gagamitin natin is rate of 5% and maturity of 3 years. So, ito yung mga andyan yung mga steps by steps na gagawin natin para makuha yung yung sagot. So, first na gagawin natin is tong calculator. I-on natin siya. AC. On. Yan. Ito yung gamit ko kasi dito is flex office. Ito yung model niya. So, um, start is 1 plus, yung rate natin is 0 0.05 or 5%. Then, divide. Press the divide. Dito, once ko lang siya pinindot yung divide na button. Pero yung sa iba kasi yung ginagamit nila dalawang pindot yung yung divide button. Pero sa akin, okay lang kahit isa lang. Tapos, yung equal button, ang sabi dito, equal equals is equivalent to the number of period. So, yung maturity period natin is 3 years. So, ilang beses din natin siya ipipindot yung equals is ganun din yung number of periods which is 3. So, times 3 natin siya pipindutin. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, yan na yung present value of 1 natin with the rate of 3, with the rate of 0.05 or 5% and maturity of 3 years. So, to verify our answer, ito check natin siya using the basic calculator. Ay, sorry. Using scientific calculator. So, yung formula natin, kopihin lang natin, 1 plus 0 0.05 and then negative 3. Yan. So, nakikita ba? Yan. Kapag pinindot natin siya, yan yung lalabas na sagot. Parehas sila. 
sa basic calculator ko at saka sa scientific calculator ko. At ito yung formula ng present value of 1. Yan. So, tama. So, madali lang siya, di ba? Next naman natin na gagawin is present value of ordinary annuity. So, andyan na rin yung formula ng present value of ordinary annuity natin. And, ito na rin yung mga steps. Sunod-sunod na steps na pipindutin natin sa calculator natin para makuha natin yung value ng present value of ordinary annuity. So, first, nagagawin natin 1 plus rate 0 0.05 divided by equal sign kung ilang be, kung ilang years 3 years so 1 2 3 kung mapapansin niyo yan yung value ng present value of 1 natin so dito sa calculator na to mas mas madali kasi meron siyang grand total ang gagawin ko lang pindutin yung grand total so, yan na yung value ng present value of ordinary annuity natin. So, to verify that, gamitin ulit natin itong scientific calculator. Input ko lang yung formula ng present value of ordinary annuity. Copy ko lang yung formula. 1 less... 1 plus 0 0.05 3 0.05 Yan. Equals. Yan. So, tama ba yung sagot natin? Tama. 2.7232 Yan yung sagot. Nang present value of. So, yan yung sagot natin sa present value of ordinary NEP. So, yung next naman, mabilis lang siya, ba? Kasi ang pinalitan lang natin kung mapapansin nyo sa present value of 1, sa present value of ordinary NEP, dinagdagan lang natin siya ng grand total. So, mas maganda kasi talaga yung calculator ninyo kapag mayroon na siyang grand total kasi pindutin mo lang yan, mas mabilis. So, next is present value of NVT2. So, paano naman to kunin? So, paano naman kunin yung present value of NVT2? Dito, medyo may konting kaibahan sa present value of ordinary NVT natin at present value of 1. So, ito yung mga, ito yung formula. Ito rin yung steps na susundan natin. So, first, 1 plus rate 0 0.05 divided by equals or divide equals dito yung number of times na magpipindot tayo ng equal sign Diba, 3 years yung maturity. Magli-less tayo ng 1. So, yung years of maturity na 3 years, less 1. So, magiging 2 na lang yun. So, yun yung equivalent na na pipindutin natin yung equals. Yung equals is equivalent to the number of period less 1. So, 1, 2. After that, Kunin natin yung grand total. And then, plus 1. Makukuha natin yung present value of ordin of annuity due. Sorry. Present value of annuity due na 2.8594. So, i-verify ulit natin yan using scientific calculator. Kopyahin ko lang ulit yung formula. 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.05 and 
equals yan so ito yung sagot using the scientific calculator at ito naman yung sagot using basic calculator kung mapapansin nyo para sila Tama. so that's it guys I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video na ito and hopefully naintindihan nyo yung tutorial na tinuro ko sa inyo and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more updates and tutorials like this so thank you and god bless